Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Sonny here coming at you guys with another Neverwinter video. By the title and thumbnail, you know why you clicked on guys. We are going to be discussing a slept on artifact set that was brought to my attention a couple weeks ago by none other than Garland. So shout out Garland. And I kind of just wanted to reiterate some of the things that he was talking about and kind of just push this set even further because I really do think this is... It's broken. It's uh, It's broken. I think... Really, it should be possible if you run in a group. I would have this set on. So without further ado, we're just going to jump in and talk about it. And that is the Apocalypse Dagger set, right? And just to kind of go over it very quickly, whenever you hit an enemy with a critical attack, the damage the enemy takes will be increased by 1% for 5 seconds, and this stacks up to 5 times. Um, That's incredible. It's literally a 5% increase uh, to the target that you're applying to, essentially. And it stacks up to five times, so everybody's going to be doing 5% more damage. The, th the two other DPS in the group, including you, so three total. The tank, the, the cleric, the companions. Um, everybody is just going to be doing more DPS to the boss or the mobs. And essentially, you're just going to be killing shit quicker. Um, I think sometimes people get slept on because everybody wants to be best in slot, best in slot, best in slot. But uh, Neverwinter wasn't always about being best in slot. It was really about how quickly can we get through a dungeon. What's to maximize the debuffs in the group? And this is still a very good debuff artifact set. Um, it isn't too expensive here on PC. I don't know the prices on console. Uh, the artifacts itself is where things get expensive. And there's really only four of them on the market. Uh, so in terms of rarity, it is a rare artifact. The drop rate for it isn't incredibly high. So on PC, if you're seeing this pretty early... You can snatch one up for relatively cheap under a million AD, which is not bad at all. That's why I went ahead and snatched mine up uh, previously. And yeah, I've been loving it. The DPS decrease or, you know, hypothetically speaking, hasn't been that astronomical from my perspective. Um, it, I'm pretty sure it's going to be different for everybody. That's why I say to each their own. Um, my stats and my results won't be the same for somebody else out there. But from just running pub groups and the things that I've noticed... I am really liking it. We're getting through the dungeon quicker. Um, I'm not trying to be best in slot anymore. It's, I mean, I haven't been keeping up with it for a while now, but, you know, for those of you who know, it's it's just, it is what it is anymore. I'm just more about trying to get through the dungeon quicker. And if anybody wants to be sweaty out there, I'm going to help you increase your DPS that much more. So at the end of the day, you're going to feel good. Um, so here, I just show you real quick. I use the Masterwork set. That gives 2% outgoing damage, 2% outgoing healing, and 2% uh, damage reduction for just having this on. Uh, the Apocalypse Dagger gives that 5% increased damage taken. And it stacks quick, guys. Like, I'm just going to hit the dummy real quick just to show you. It, it Five stacks is on there. Boom. I know it's a little hard to see, but five stacks is on that. There's no cooldown. There's no timer. I don't know in the future if they will ever put one on there every like five or 10 seconds. I really hope not because it's going to lessen the effectiveness of it. But as it stands now, guys, it's pretty much I drop this and boom, look at that. Stacks are accumulating with just my icy terrain and they're max now. Um, so that wasn't including anything else. So pretty much one encounter power and you're at five stacks, essentially, um, depending on your encounter power too. Uh, the icy terrain gives like a damage over time, which is really nice because it is... It does apply, you have to crit. And as you guys know, the way Neverwinter works now, you only crit 50% uh, of the time. So it's still not bad. It's pretty much guaranteed to go up on the mobs and on the boss, you know, like at the at the snap of your fingers. Um, I haven't seen any issues with trying to stack it or trying to put it on mobs even. It goes on the mobs just as quickly as the mobs get melted, and it's beautiful to see. And, you know, I don't want to make this video too long, but I do want to uh, let you guys know out there that if you can't afford the best in slot gear, and I mean the book set, uh, the Mirage set, if you don't want to do all that extra shit, why not just help those out there that do want to do it and, you know, enjoy it? But, you know, for us out there who just kind of want to play Neverwinter more casual, you know, don't always want to be sweating over here or, you know, going crazy on the on the keyboard or over on on new console players the the controllers right don't want to go crazy we're just trying to have a good time and relax sometimes and having this really is a luxury uh the groups i'm in love it to be honest people are like oh shit i forgot all about that nine times out of ten um they see it they notice it and they just it just melts it really does this melt and on top of that um 
you know, I really want to know down in the comments if you guys are going to pick up this set. If you forgot about this set and maybe, you know, you just remember now. Because previously, the only other way to get this was from the Portobello's game here. This dungeon itself hasn't been going on. Well, uh, not dungeon. This event, excuse me, hasn't been going on for years now, right? Like, this hasn't been... I don't even know why it's still in here, to be honest. But this was just a limited time event that came around, I think, like, once a year. And never once or way back in the day. Um... And it was pretty fun. You know, I believe you can get the Beholder tank from this. Uh, you could have got the Apocalypse set. So it was a really it was a really decent uh, event. I'll give it that much. Now, though, you can actually get the equipment perspective from, uh, where is it? Ravenloft. In the Ravenloft store, you can go ahead and purchase it for $2,500 apiece. Uh, the neck and waist aren't relatively expensive. So, you know, if you have the currency, if not, like I said, the auction house prices aren't too bad for this. The artifact, though, is where things get tricky. Uh, you can get it out of the, uh, many coins bank heist. The problem is, is the RNGs on it is just so low and bad and it's a skirmish. So realistically speaking, it's not really that worth farming. Um, if you don't get the artifact, it's, you know, and who knows how long it's going to take. There's not very many on the uh, auction house for a reason. So there's, you know, not too many people running it as it is now. Uh, so, you know, once they're all gone, I'm pretty sure, you know, they're going to be gone for a little bit before more people farm it again and put them back up. Uh, so hopefully, you know, bringing this video out there brings more light to this artifact set. I personally think people should have one in every group. You real, you will notice a difference. And on top of that, just to kind of include it as a bonus in this video, for those of you out there, man, like, and you're running a dungeon or a trial, you have to have an armor break. I can't, I can't, I can't think of... You know, people always just out there trying to DPS, DPS. Debuffs are still just as important in this game, guys. Debuffs are essential to doing DPS. If you have more debuffs on the target, you're just going to melt them quicker, even if you have less DPS, essentially. An armor break on a chance to hit, you reduce an enemy's defense by up to 7.5 per sec. Uh, 7.5. It only stacks once. So if one person has it, that's it. Don't put, have, don't put two people... If anything, I would either put on like dulled senses, uh, reduces enemies awareness, anything that kind of reduces the enemy stats. You know, if you don't necessarily need the 7.5% on your crit strike. Don't get me wrong, that's nice, but I'd rather the debuff on the on the boss or the mobs. Um, you know, you know, it's a little harder to stack the armor break on the mobs. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. It's way easier on the boss. But the uh the artifact set itself, this goes on. You know, even if the mobs die quickly, it's still going to proc on the mobs themselves. So it's pretty much just like a snap of the finger. If you're in a good group, that shit's just dying. And it's beautiful to see. Um, I don't, I can't explain it. You're just going to have to try it out for yourself. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this video wasn't too long and I didn't waste up too much of your time today. Uh, and yeah, you know, I'm not sure when the next video will be. What you guys know how we do around here. I'm enjoying making videos again. As always, though, it has been your boy, Sonny. Leave your feedback in the comments below. And until next time, peace out.